Here we go, unboxing the Mavic 3. There we go. Remember to get the DJI Fly app. Very, very nice. Much bigger, much, much bigger. Nice, you have a bag on the one side, bag on the other side, or you've got a straight through one. Nice side strap over here, as you guys can see. There is the backpack part, but you can still use it as just a pocket if you need to. And the same on the other side. So if you need to, you can do that. Okay, let's get to the party piece. My boy. Extra sticks. Controller cable. USB C cable. Charging hub, USB C to USB C, micro USB, extra propellers, this by sun, and then we've got the ND filters over here. As you guys can see, there is no iPhone cable. Standard Mini 2 controller, iPhone cable, correct side plugs in, your charger, great, you can charge your phone with this. Massive battery. Silica bags. And here she is. My goodness.
Just a little lip there that holds it. A little lip there that holds it. There we go. SD card, USB C. Very satisfying trip. What a beast. This is the part that we've all been wanting to see. Very, very nice. And there you've got your backpack. Does I? Look at that. So once you've opened the DJI Fly app, you're going to be presented with the activation menu. You simply click activation, accept terms, and then you're going to be presented with the next menu. On this menu, you simply tap upgrade the firmware because with Mavic 3, you really do want the latest firmware. It really was a demo model when it came out and after the firmware, it is significantly better. So in all my other videos, I always recommend do not upgrade, but with Mavic 3, upgrade as soon as you possibly can. It's quite a large update, so make sure you've got a fast internet connection. It's about 400 megs. Uh, if it fails, it's always going to be more than that. So make sure your internet connection is stable. And it took me plus minus almost 9 to 12 minutes, I think. So I'm going to forward this next bit, but it took a quite a long time to update. So once the update is done, make sure that the drone restarts. If it does not, do it manually. 
as you can see here automatically my controller started charging my phone so I know it restarted properly the go fly button is back up there again and my firmware has been updated when you un uh, when you log in the first time this could be a disclaimer just enable it you want to have the SPS system enabled so just make sure you confirm it now when you've logged into the system there's a few things that I always recommend that you do ASAP so I typically go to uh, recalibrate my sensors so the first thing I always calibrate is my IMU sensor and then I follow that up with a uh, um, compass calibration but when you open that screen just go down and make sure that you return to home I don't know why DJI does this but they set it to 100 meters that's ridiculously high so I always set it down to like 30 40 meters much easier to set up in the, in the new DJI fly app than in the previous versions which was quite ridiculous actually um, I always remove my uh, limits just because I don't really want them and then I calibrate the compass or the IMU so there's no real other things you really need to set up immediately but this is probably the one that I'm going to go through initially is just make sure that my IMU is calibrated properly and then I'm going to go over and calibrate my compass so let's do the IMU calibration so what you need to do is you just need to take your drone fold it up just keep it on don't worry if the camera and everything is upside down you just fold the drone up nice and neat and then once that's done you enable or start the, the wizard on the app so in this case I'm just gonna put the drone down nicely flat as we put the picture and then click the start button now this process is pretty easy you literally just follow the steps on the screen so in this case you can see my drone now needs to be put on its left side so I just flip it and lay it down on the flat table but my table remember I've already checked this is a level table so if you don't have this just download a, a spirit level app to your phone and then do that make sure your table is nice and level so you just go through the whole process in this case the drone is now upside down and we're just going to follow the steps on the actual wizard a lot of guys get confused with this next one so the drone now goes on its right side and the next one is it has to go upright so when you put it upright you typically want to make it lean forward but that's just wrong you need to actually let it lean backwards on the top onto the back rear motors of the drone so as you can see in the pictures it actually leans backwards it's got an awkward feeling if you've got a really expensive drone in your hand so just make sure you then drop it in this case it's done and once it's done it's automatically going to restart as you can see that propeller is going to start moving and then that is done you can close it and that is it the next one i'm going to recommend is once your calibration and your startup of your drone is now being done then as you can see there it's uploaded saved it stored the information you just go back into the menu and now you do the compass i always do a compass when i get a brand new drone so yeah just use the insta360 go there and just got a bit crazy and then yeah unfold the drone and then simply follow the wizard again so just press compass make sure you're not close to anything metal please guys no metal near you within like four or five meters so then you go just pivot it around according to the picture this is funny enough this is actually the first time i've ever seen the menu display the picture of the drone correctly so well done dji very simple basic done and now we're ready for our first flight as simple as that here we go satellites 11 satellites the home point has home been updated please check it on the map 10% battery drop there we go Take off. Yeah. 
there we go, obstacle avoidance is now working. Vision sensors working. Bit of windy day. Landing. Landing. 